What the? It's something a ninja probably wouldn't say because ninjas are quiet. So why I just did that, I don't know. I'm sorry. I apologise. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, this is a 10 second ninja. And yes, this is me playing and doing pretty, pretty badly in comparison to a more competent player. <laughs> um, the thing with this game is it's called 10 second ninja. You are that little blue ninja jumping about there shooting shurikens and flashing his sword, you have 10 seconds to eliminate all these Natsu robots. And the quicker that you do that, then obviously the more stars you get. It's kind of a bit similar to some of the uh, mobile games or Facebook games where, you know, for example, Angry Birds, if you do the level in the best way possible, you get three stars. And this is like that. If you do the level slowly, such as like I did there, you get one star. Now I need to get, uh, I need to beat this level by another 0.12 seconds to get two stars. And then obviously after that, I think it's a, something like another set, you need to beat it by another second to get three stars, and obviously the more stars you get, blah blah blah. And as you can see, this is me showing you how not to play the game. <laughs> I mean, it's not the look, see, and there we go, I managed to get two stars on that one. And I don't really, you know, I'm not doing that bad. It's one of those games where nobody can do bad at it. Once you understand the controls. Uh, I mean the controls are so simple you've got three buttons. One button is to jump and you, you, you have a double jump. That, that's sort of straight out of the box. Uh, another button to sort of with, you know, chop with your sword and the third button is to throw shurikens or ninja throwing stars, as you might know them. Uh, as you can see on the screen at the top left there, you have the amount of shurikens uh, you have in your possession. And as with each level, you only get three... Um, you only get three shurikens in every level. So you, you've got to kind of use them wisely. And that's all part of the strategy. Um, I mean, such as this one, you, you know, you, you've literally got like six robots. Where... You, I suppose you could, you know, you could like just fail the level a few times just by spending those ten seconds just to look at the level and think, right, I'm going to do this, I'm going to go there, I'm going to jump there. And, and so, uh, yeah, that's kind of what it's all about. It, and I think that, that that is probably one tactic you may want to take on board is rather than just start the level, think, oh crap, the clock started. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> just, it, it's not like I say, there's no penalty in failing the level or doing the level uh, slowly, as in, you know, if a level takes you between like, 6 and 8 seconds to complete, then that doesn't matter. Uh, you're not going to, as I say, be penalised for it. Um, but as you saw, just I need 2 stars to, uh, to meet the end boss, basically. And so, see, I need two more stars, um, and that will take me to the Robot Hitler. Um, and in the predicament that I was, thinking, okay, I'm not going to do much better on this level, this level, this level. 
I'll, I'll, I'll look at the levels which I can improve on, like this one, I've just got a new record and another star, which means now I need just one more star to meet the end boss. And that, <laughs> that is the addictive nature of this game, is you, you might play, you might fail a few times, and bong, you know, fail, you know, oh crap. But it's just one press of a button, doom, instant replay. You know what I mean? You haven't got to like go back through the menu and blah blah just to replay the level. It's just a press of a button and you retry. And that's what makes this game so good. Instead of, uh, you know, being the, the sort of long and annoying approach to replaying levels, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's uh, it is jolly good. I mean, graphics not that amazing, but that's the whole charm of the game. The games, uh, the games. The graphics do what they need to do. You know, you know that that little blue guy is a ninja, and you know that the enemies are robots. That's all. That's all you need to do. And you know the spikes are instant death. Um, <laughs> but like I say, that is basically what this game is about. It's all about doing these levels as quick as possible and being able to replay them as quick as possible instead of as I say going through the tedious motion of going back into a menu and blah 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 and there's also the uh, the tactics or strategy of each level you might you think Tactics, strategy, what? Uh, yeah, that might sound a bit stupid, you know. Yeah. But obviously, you need tactics. Thinking right, I'm going to take out this robot first, this robot next, this one, this one, this one, and there you go. Here we are on the uh, robot Hitler. With his uh, ultra beam, and it's like I said, even with this one, there's no penalty for doing it in whatever time you do it in. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's just do it in your own time. You know, you haven't, you haven't you're, okay, yeah, you've got to do it within ten seconds, but you know, don't think that you've. Uh, Kind of got to sacrifice, you know, certain uh, gameplay and, and whatever to uh, to defeat him any quicker than you can. If you know what I mean. And there we go. So uh, yeah, that's ten second ninja. Uh, thanks for watching. There will be a review on uh, mental games. Um, and check it out when it's released on uh, Wednesday.